everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make homemade churros. We're gonna have fun today. This is probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me and possibly one of the worst because they are dangerously good. So let's get started. We'll start with the dough. In a medium saucepan, combine half a cup of whole milk, half a cup of water, eight tablespoons of unsalted butter, one teaspoon of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Bring that to a boil over medium heat, stirring frequently. Remove it from the heat and stir in one cup of flour all at once with a wooden spoon. Once it's incorporated, put it back on the heat and continue stirring another two minutes to release any extra moisture and partially cook the flour. The dough should come together into a smooth ball and you'll see a thin film form on the bottom of the pan. That's when you know it's done. Transfer the dough to a large mixing bowl, then use an electric mixer to beat the mixture on medium speed to cool it down slightly. Beat for a total of two minutes, and you can use a stand mixer if you prefer. Keeping the mixer on medium speed, we'll add four large cold eggs. Add the eggs one at a time, allowing them to fully incorporate before adding the next one. Once all of the eggs are in, scrape down the bowl as needed and continue beating just until the dough is smooth and forms a thick ribbon when you pull up on the whisk. The dough should have a thick and smooth consistency. We have a pastry bag ready here fitted with a Wilton 1M, which is a large open star tip. I'll leave a link to these in the notes along with all of our favorite tools used to make this recipe. To easily fill a pastry bag, wrap the outer edge of it around your hand, then fill it about halfway full to make it easier to pipe. You don't wanna overfill it and you can always refill the pastry bag later. Push the batter down towards the tip, then twist the back to seal it. The batter is ready. You'll also want to make your cinnamon sugar ahead of time so it's ready to dip the churros as they come out of the hot oil. In a shallow bowl, combine half a cup of sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon and set that aside. Our last step is to fry the churros. You'll need a large pot or Dutch oven. I have my candy thermometer clipped onto the side but you can also use an instant read thermometer. Add two inches of vegetable oil or canola oil and heat that over medium heat to 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut six inch lengths of dough into the hot oil, cutting off the ends with scissors. Keeping the oil between 350 and 370 degrees Fahrenheit, fry the churros for about one and a half minutes per side, turning with tongs. What I love about this clip-on thermometer is I don't have to keep checking the oil temperature. It'll always tell me, and I will link to this in the notes. You'll want to pipe about five or six churros at a time, depending on how long you pipe them, but do not overcrowd your pan or it will cool down the oil too quickly. When they're done, they should be beautifully golden brown in color, then transfer them to a paper towel lined plate. All right, one last step. Because these wouldn't be churros without our cinnamon sugar topping, you're gonna take them while they're still warm because that's when the cinnamon sugar sticks the best and put it right into that mixture. Roll it around, give it a good sprinkling. Be generous. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, and we are gonna go right into the taste test. Here, let me just make a few to indulge in. You can't not when you make churros. <laughs> okay, all right, and now here is where things get really serious because you can also make dips to go with these. So we have a homemade caramel sauce and you can use a chocolate ganache and we have a recipe for both on our site and I will link in the notes to those, but 
So you just take some warm caramel sauce and you dip the churro right in. Give it a little swirl. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so we have a salted caramel, but it is really a good idea to add just a little pinch of salt to balance the sweetness. And because it's just a really good combination. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I've been ready. I was born ready. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. This tastes so much better than any carnival churro that you'll try. I want you to look inside, okay? The texture is just melt in your mouth delicious. Look at that. And it's so easy to master them at home. I hope you guys give these a try. Also, did you know this is the exact same dough that I used to make our eclairs and cream puffs. So once you have this down, you're gonna be a master at baking. It is such an easy dough. It's called shoe pastry. And uh, you got this. <laughs> okay, here you go. You love it? All right. I want more. You want more? Okay. Here you go, take it. Oh, you want that one, all right. Oh, you want two. Wait, what do you think? <laughs>